Okay, this is an unboxing uh, video for Legal Board. We happen to get one at Jenkins, and I'm going to install it on my laptop. I loathe my keyboard on my laptop, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to run through a couple of the uh, features of the keyboard. I think it's going to be neat. Okay, so there's the keyboard sitting on my counter, and as I zoom in, my apologies for the vertigo there, you see the function keys at the top will insert the well-used, well-known words and abbreviations there. You see F3rd, F2nd, as we go along there. That looks like the pi symbol is the plaintiff and the delta is the defendant. Um, IUB is uh, italics underscore bold. Okay, if I go over here, the really important key is that one on the num key. That actually turns on the functions of the keyboard. As you go through, you can see some of the other keys. We're going to talk about 4, 5, and 6, which is footnote, uh, track changes, and comment. And there's line spacing, and there's a lot of cool stuff on this keyboard. So I just want to give you a visual of what the keyboard looked like. And when we come back in this video, we'll actually do some interesting stuff with it. Okay, the first thing that I should be showing you is what happens when you actually plug the keyboard into your computer. And so here we go. Plug it into the USB slot. And you can hear the little tinkly noise, I bet. If not, you are lucky. And we're going to wait and see if something happens. You can see this little toastery thing here. It looks like it's doing something. What's it doing? Well, it's finding the drivers for the keyboard. So here we go. Let's see how this works. I guess it works. Okay, let's do some basic stuff from the keyboard now. I should say, I mean, hopefully it's obvious, but if not, whatever. Um, this keyboard is optimized for Windows and Microsoft Office. If you have a Mac, there isn't a Mac version right now. So I'm going to be working in, off, obviously, as you can see here, on Microsoft Office, and I'm running under Windows 8.1. So let me just do some basic stuff with some of the keys. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to do everything, but I want to just do a few things. So I'm going to type in the beginning of a citation, okay, and then hit the function F4 key, which will drop in. F third, and then I'll complete my citation, which is nice. It's nice that being able to have that sort of shortcut, if you will. Um, another thing that I can do is if I hit the F9 key, puts the word plaintiff in. Okay. Sh uh, now, unfortunately, word you notice when I hit uh, return, it capitalized it. But if I was in the middle of some text and I was doing some stuff and I really needed it to be capitalized and I wasn't going to hit return, Shift F9 gives me the capitalized word. Okay. One thing about Word is it thinks too much for me, and I hate it. Um, there's also you know, italics, uh, underline, and bold. So I'm hitting the print screen button, which is for italics. And then whatever I type in is a uh, test. It's in italics, which is nice. I like the way that works. Um, if you hit the minus key on the, on the keypad, uh, on the numpad, I should say, it begins a bulleted item for you. So I can say one to, I am just so imaginative today, huh? Okay, and then if you hit it again, um, there you go, you're all cleaned up, which I kind of like, I, I like the way that works. Um, there is also um, line spacing, which you can adjust. So I'm just gonna do this is a test, a ditto, whatever. Yeah, really amazing. So this is all single spaced. So if I uh, grab it all, and then I hit the double space key, boom, it does that for me. If I hit the uh, single space, it takes it back. Let's go triple or uh, three. There you go, which is nice. And you've seen these keys already because I panned across it with the camera. So for, in terms of basic stuff, this is actually quite nice because I just use the keys on the keyboard. They're well marked and it makes it a lot easier to do, you know, like basic formatting stuff without thinking too much. Okay, on to more I guess a little bit more involved stuff here. Um, rather than just typing random stuff, I've actually pulled some text here. I happen to have the at least the beginning part of the Constitution. Don't ask me why. I felt that perhaps was appropriate given where we're at right now. So here I am in this document. And let's say I want to insert a footnote. And that is the key number four key on the numpad. If I do that, boom, it goes down to the bottom and it allows me to add a footnote. Okay. But when I go back to the text where I inserted the footnote, shift, and that number four key, and there I am. Okay, And I'm in um, the review section of Word to show you that if I hit the f number five key on the numpad, which is um, track changes, you can see that track changes turns on, turns off as I press and depress the key. If I um, want to add a comment, uh, the, the number six key on the numpad, and there you go, I can add the comment. 
So there's some neat stuff here that you can do with this keyboard and it makes it very simple. Um, and it, again, it takes that mental overhead off of you. So I like this keyboard, but the question that does come up is, you know, why? Why would you use this? A regular keyboard, if you're well versed in Word, if you take a, a bit of time to learn it so that you can learn the, the alt keys or the shortcuts or macros, whatever it is that you want to take the time to learn, you know, you can do the same stuff with your regular keyboard. Why would you invest $65 in this new keyboard? Well, I'll tell you. I want to establish my bona fides first. You know, 30 odd years ago when I started in this biz, I was using WordStar, and WordStar used a lot of control keys for everything. Okay, so it's not like I'm uh, not on board with all of this. I get the fact that you can make keyboard shortcuts one way or the other. What I've been saying all along in this video is this. It, a lot of times you want to focus on the work product, which is the brief or whatever it is you're writing, and you don't want all the extra technology to get in the way. It interrupts you. It's, it slows down the flow. It makes you have to think too much about the infrastructure and not actually the words that you're crafting to advocate for your client or do whatever it is you're doing. So what I like about this keyboard is that it does allow me not to have to think so much about about how to do what I'm doing. It allows me to focus on the words and then I hit a couple keys and I get what I want. That's my take on it. You may feel a different way about it, but I do like this keyboard a lot. I think it's a nifty product.